guess what? Her furnace still isn't working, and we don't care. Here's why. Here's a hint. You can warm Is your it hands more? on that. Yeah. Don't touch the metal. The hot metal is really hot. Yeah, don't don't do that. That's the coils going in there. That is. Don't it's just full of warm water. Don't touch the metal. And this too. The technician said when you get this going, turn off your hot water eaters. You won't need the electricity to them anymore. Look at this. Ready? Started up our wood boiler last night. And boy, we were cozy. Not dependent on the electricity, not dependent on the oil. Well, it's diesel. It's diesel fuel. Just good old fashioned wood from clearing our forests for the cows. Here, let's see what it's reading. Okay, 175. That's good. It feels like that. Uh, let's it. open this up. You ready? I loaded it this morning. We're going to make sure it's going to be real smoky because I loaded a bunch of wood on a, on a small coal bed. Ready? Well, not too, not too terribly smoky. It does not look cold. I wonder if I, uh... I thought it would. I wonder if the fire went out. Is there fire in there? Put this back what down. Is, what is this, uh... So we only had a little bit of a coal bed this morning. I do wonder if I just smothered it. Oh no, look. Something's burning. Wow. That's the chamber that burns the smoke. And creosote. Yeah, sure. Look in there. Oh, wow. Yeah, this thing is super efficient, getting every BTU wow. we can possibly get off those logs. Burns the smoke, burns the creosote. What? I bet I know what's happening. It just doesn't need a lot of heat right now. It's, it's not, the temperature, it's not that cold out here, so it's just burning slower. We're gonna go do the pit. Wow, these guys have done a really good job. Water staying unfrozen. Hey, you guys have done a good job. You've done a good job, Beefcake. You've done a good job. Where's her poop corner? Over there. Oh. Okay, let's feed him right here then. Watch the pig boy. We like to call him the pig boy. You like doing the pig chores, don't you? Yeah. I like petting you guys. You guys are fun. You guys are keepers. You guys are keepers. They started off a little slow when they first came. But we've got them back into good health. You guys knock it. Look, your ears are back to normal. They were kind of red. But they're back to normal. Look at these guys. You should say, I love these guys. Okay. I love these guys. One week left, guys. One week left. Looking big. That was looking chunk. It does look like we need to move them though. Where they were, where they are now. We'll have to come back another day and seed. I am running out of time. Our friends Art and Bree are coming today. We're gonna do some fermenting together. You excited about that, Rebecca? I am really excited. I've been texting for now. Art and Bree and then Art's sister, Anna. They'll be here, what, Anna's an hour? Coming. Half an hour? Yeah, Anna's Are they still on time? I don't know. Woo, that's hot water, babe. We got wood heated hot water. So we've got to have breakfast at like a normal time. Oh, uh -oh. the bacon's ready. I asked Brianna when they're coming, what their ETA is, and she, first she said nine, and then she said maybe 9 15 because Arthur's driving slow. That's good because we're actually behind. Let's get this breakfast on, guys. Milk, and then hang out with our friends. Leftover Indian chicken, fresh eggs. Looking nice. We're gonna do double smash. Smash it once on top. Flip it. Smash it again. Look at that. Call the inquirer. Breakfast before nine. And look at you. <laughs> Healthy plate. Um, Eggs and bacon. Carnivore it up with milk. Night. You're drinking milk. Yeah. Let's I'll see this. What? So good for you. I'm trying. I'm trying to get in the nutrition. Breakfast was real. Jonah, just how you got cleaning up? Jonah, you don't need my phone. I know. I'm putting away. Hey, Lily, let's go milk. I 
right Looky out. here. <laughs> you come with some goodies. I did. I brought some stuff I love and I'm excited about. What is about. all this? Um, there's fermented onions, fermented mustard, kale kraut, hey, and um, okay, cool. Yeah, a relish. Art and Anna. Everybody may recognize Anna a little bit from our vlogs a while back. She rescued us after the Great American Farm Tour, didn't she, Rebecca? She does. <laughs> <laughs> With her good cooking, helped us, restored us back to health. With the yeah. GAPS diet. A lot of ferment and stuff I in that. I could not have done GAPS diet without mm -hmm. Anna. So. I guess I have a question for these ferment experts over here. Oh, yeah. Art and Anna. Anna, come here. We still have wow. kraut totally. from 619. That's amazing. Does it go bad? It, it's not bad. <laughs> This you can just bad. tell. It could go bad. Okay. It could get moldy. It can go bad, but it hasn't. It most likely. So we, you can use just your senses generally to, to tell, and so visually it looks good. There's no like fuzzy mold or. And anything. that's from May 11th. And it smells good. Okay. So know, actually, why haven't we eaten this? Because I didn't know if it went bad or not. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we know. Okay, guys. It'll keep better oh, if you move it to a smaller course. container so there's okay. less o less air above it, okay. less oxygen exposure. Okay. Yep. So you guys are here, you're going to help us out with some uh, fermenting. You guys yeah. have a course going on. This is the main launch this week? Yeah, mm -hmm. it is. Okay. Yep. And you did a beta launch earlier? How'd we that did. go? It was great. Okay. So let's talk about this. So I want to include you guys in the vlog, what we're doing behind the scenes type of thing, but I also want to maybe do an instructional or a bonus video this weekend. Yeah, sounds great. Do you great. think you guys can do that? Yeah. Definitely. What do you have in mind? Uh, I want, I'm going to propose kale kraut because it's okay. not something that's in the course. It's a totally unique recipe. Yeah. Okay. And it's really good, but you can try it before we make it and you can okay. decide. <laughs> okay. It's so a little strange. What do you mean try it before we make it? It, so I've got some I made a couple weeks ago, oh, so you can okay, try it. Okay. I, I love it. It's one of my favorite ferments, okay. and Brie actually loves it. Which one? Okay. Kale? Kale crab. Well, here's what we'll do then. If it's okay with you guys. We'll just, I'll get a little behind the scenes with the vlog, and then we'll do an instructional on kale crab. Yeah. And we're going to just go out there and get my kale, right? Yeah. That's cool. And the other I'll idea for speaking. bonus, Anna's idea, is we do carrot, fermented carrots your way. Because she says they're t they're unique yeah, and they're and amazing. The, the she loves you your fermented them. carrots. And we have carrots in the sand. Yeah. Yeah. We want to get oh, nice. Uh, we we taught carrots. Um, fermented carrots, but we had people do carrot sticks, so they're bigger chunks, and the fermenting goes really differently. Let's nice. go at it. Does it take long? Not long at all. No. I think we could probably do each one in 15 or 20 minutes. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. This is over a year old. I was, I'm a little slow on the math. How old is this? Someone yeah. tell me. 619. Oh, you're right. It's a half a year old. 619. How long ago was oh, that? Oh, wait. Um, that's 19? You know, it might have been June 19th. this year. Did you date? June 19th. I did. Yeah, that's my history. Uh, okay. <laughs> Anna. No, you don't have a good point. Though. I didn't put the year on. You were about to brag. I know. I was like, year. this is over you a can't year go there. old. <laughs> Look at this guy. That would have been a good title. <laughs> this is from May. Over a year old. But yeah. you can't, you can't actually eat sauerkraut that's a year old. But it's okay. really, what you, the purpose of the preservation is to span through the winter, not okay. to keep it forever. Everybody, let's try some now. All right. Part of the problem, part of the problem With your fingers. <laughs> yeah, sure. It's your house. Yep. I'm not afraid. Yeah, that's still good. Taco crop. Oh, wow, he goes for it. It is still good. Yeah, it's really good. Good. Just gonna get the carrots out of our cold sand. They stay so fresh. It's like they're, it's like they're straight up out of the ground. We harvested these months ago. What do you think, Anna? Is that a pound? That looks so good. Okay. Yeah. All right, I've got the carrots. I haven't cut the ends off. Do you want to do that, Anna, while Art and I get the kale? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get them ready. Okay, Anna's got it all ready. Was everything where it was when you were here? Pretty much. Okay, yeah. good. <laughs> Look here, Beck. What is it? Beautiful kale. Oh, wow. It's that got really full, beautiful. full grown, and you got a whole big old row. Is this from your notes when yeah, you were here? That's the, that's the OG. Okay, this is Anna's original notebook here. That's we can so personally good. vouch for her cooking, it's show. amazing. We're gonna show, we're gonna do a little video exactly how to make the carrots just like the rose like them. Ooh, I like it. So here's what we decided to do, so nobody gets confused. Okay. Behind the scenes for the vlog that you're seeing now, we're gonna do a carrot video, instructional video, that we're gonna give you as a bonus if you order their course through the link down in the description through us. And then we'll do the kale. Let's just give the kale video to everybody tomorrow on YouTube. Nice. 
Just for kicks and giggles. Love it. Be kind. I asked Anna, don't we peel it? You know, because I guess the skin's harder to digest. But she says we need the bacteria. Is that what she said? Yep, more, more bacteria the better, basically, for the yeah. natural bacteria that's on the vegetables. That is what's gonna get the fermentation started. We just did our intro for, for this carrot recipe. Now Anna is slicing them super thin, probably a sixteenth of an inch. What are you doing? I'm just getting out some fermented foods to taste um, because we have a bigger variety than you <laughs> ever run into here. Yeah. I've never had this many fermented, fit, fermented foods all at once. And what's his job? Uh, he, you know what? His favorite thing is eating the onions. Do you want some fermented onions? Really? He likes yeah. the fermented onions. Okay. There you go. <laughs> That's the your job. In, you put the cows in all in one end. Ooh, is that good? <laughs> Ooh. You know what this is going to make you, Art? Put all, all this information out on ferments. No, what? The ferment guy. Oops. <laughs> are you ready for that? It's just one thing okay. though. It's if just you're one not going to be the ferment guy, who are you going to be? Good, uh, good what's question. Your, what's your specialty? Emotional connection. Aww. With yourself. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you going to try that? Is that a jalapeno? Did, is that what you're eating? Open up, show me. Is that what you're eating? <laughs> yeah. It doesn't seem to be bothering him. He doesn't really get bothered by spicy stuff. I mean, occasionally he'll cry. Are you okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Will he eat anything? Uh, yeah, he'll try anything. Nice. He has a high tolerance compared to even our other kids for spice. So why, why a course on fermented foods then, Arthur? If uh, you're the emotional connected guy. Because <laughs> they add a level of flavor to your diet that you can't get from anything else. It adds a level of richness that if you don't do any fermented foods and you add fermenting foods, it's, a, it's a, just an incredible level of richness to your diet. That's the main reason for me. My answer to that question, you didn't ask me, but I heard across the room, the reason for the course is that people's emotions are really tied to how they make their food. Mm. And especially with fermenting, it's so much unknown. People have a lot of fear around it. Uh. And so our thinking was to create a course that kind of holds people hand and makes it way easier to get started. Once you're started, you're good to go. All right, we just wrapped up the making of the carrots. This is nice. This took less than, yeah, less than 15 minutes. Uh, Art, is your smorgasbord ready? Yeah, we're gonna taste some Is stuff. now the time? I think now's the time, we do the, the ladies are over there. Okay, we got these two cut ups here. We might as well go with Sorry. it. Sorry. Coming in and laughing and carrying on during our instructional video. Uh, I know, I was like, dang it, he's gonna like You guys gotta behave yourself. Really? We're gonna send you to we're gonna send you two outside. I know, right? They're gonna with send the us kids. out with the kids. The outside <laughs> They're gonna handle. make us go meet the, the babysitters. You, you have to go outside and be with those children. This is a selection of recipes. These are all there's there's actually eleven recipes in our course. Um, but then there's some bonus ones as well. So this is chow chow mustard, um, hot sauce, kimchi, and fermented jalapenos. That's all in the main course. These are three bonus recipes that there's like a mid uh, pricing level on it. So if you get the mid or up, there's amazing bonus recipes. This you gotta try. Okay, this. I want to. Brianna told me I have that to beats? try it. No, That's what I thought. It's cranberry relish and okay. salsa and onion. This is the kale. This is what the kale that we're gonna make today is gonna taste like. Hey Lily, you wanna try any of this? Lily, Look how colorful. Lily, the royal taste tester. I know, yeah. she is the royal taste tester. Oh, she went for the jalapeno. Those are spicy. Those are spicy. Okay, she went for the onions. I think that's what I'm gonna go for, too. Is <laughs> <laughs> that a typical kid reaction right there? <laughs> They're very onions. Very different. Do you like onions, Lily? Really? <laughs> no. <laughs> so she went for the oh, onions. Oh, try something you like, her. Oh, what you got? What you got? Salsa. Lily, oh. try the, try the That's the salsa. Be honest. Be honest, Art. Do you, honest, Art, do you like every single one of these? Okay. Which like what? Yeah. Every single one of these. Salsa's best. Um. Uh, yes, absolutely. Oh, I do. <laughs> How is it? What? Do you like it? She went for that salsa. What do you want? What are you going for? Don't put it back in. Don't put it back in if you don't like <laughs> I this don't think she's a big fan of the, the sour part of the uh, ferment. They're oh, wait, all look sour. At Joy. What about you, little man? Which one do you want? <laughs> Pick one of these. You gotta feel that belly up. I'm yeah, 
I already tried this one. Look at him. Yummy. Let's get the last one. Which one do you want next? You gonna try the salsa? You like that? One. That would be good with like some chips or something. Which which is your favorite one? Oh, it's hard to say because when I eat what I like, all of these are among my favorites. Is that oh, okay. fair? Is, can so I you pick put all, all of these? your favorite permits in the course because there are many others, I guess. Uh, Anna, be honest. Do you like every single one of these? I think I'm gonna. I, I actually I like do. <laughs> with same blood there, I guess. The chow chow we made upon request from. Arts Use that, um, yeah. viewers. Okay. Before we, you know, we asked them what they wanted, and a bunch of people ah. said chow chow. Why? And I don't. I, it's like a southern thing. Okay. Unless you're from Pennsylvania, and then it's a Pennsylvania thing. I hear. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to try the chow chow then. I want you to try that one too, Justin. And if you want to, kimchi. The kimchi. Yeah. I I'm a true southern I boy. The, I must I want, like chow chow. I want then. you and Rebecca to take a cracker and put oh, a piece it, of wait. cheese on it. That's a piece of turmeric. Don't eat that. You don't want to eat that. That would have been weird. <laughs> yeah. It's just really tough. Not a good first experience. Mm -hmm. That's Waiting good. I can see why they would ask for chow chow. Mm -hmm. So is chow chow cabbage? It's, it's got some cabbage. It's got a like, kind of it's like dip. the kitchen sink mm -hmm. from it. Okay. Yeah. That's it's why it's good. Yeah. That's why the southerners like it. Celery seeds. I think it wasn't chow chow like, you just, whatever you have in your garden, you just put it together. The first time I heard about chow chow was, in, he, in North Carolina, and this lady was telling me about it, and I was like, what's in it? And she's like, it's so good! And I was like, I'm not convinced. I feel like that would go good with some Mexican, some eggs. Mm -hmm. This is a favorite of mine. Now, we That's know this, because oh Anna used to make the salsa for us. But she she probably made ours really mild. Look at Wilder. <laughs> Watch mild. Why, uh, Wilder eats it without a chip. Like. <laughs> Are you hardcore? <laughs> Are you hardcore? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, Arthur asked me which one's my favorite, and honestly, so here's the thing, is six months ago, three months ago, if you'd asked me, do you like ferments, I would have been like, no. I do not like fermented foods. Um, but, and Arthur's been making ferments for our home for years, but I just wouldn't try them. But he's gotten me to try them over the last couple months, and now I'm obsessed. I love ferments. So, I like all of these, and the reason is because they can take any meal. And if you just put a little bit of a fermented food on it, it just like makes that meal pop. I don't know how to explain it. It just makes every meal better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like and a flavor. Apparently like this turns out to be a nice preservation yes. technique. Because well, we've had that in our fridge for plans. six months. I had big plans this summer. <laughs> so you got pregnant. Yeah. Okay. And then I was like, this is not happening. This I just tried that. I really liked that. Yes, to do a cracker. This is the mustard. Do a little bit of mustard. And some cheese. Doing it all official. And some hot sauce. Well, I would actually, if you want, take a jalapeno. So how hot are those? Really hot. Oh look, she put a jalapeno on it. I'm not it. gonna do mm. that then. This is the one that's really, really, really hot. <laughs> oh my goodness. Which one is that? What, what that's habaneros. And that, this those is Those are a, those little orange. <laughs> you, should just, you should just smell it. I'll just smell it. I brought it up not it. to just taste, it. but it's that's actually gonna probably age for Now I know. <laughs> that will age for like three months to a year. I'm not even It's like burned it's my nose hair. Oh just my God. smelling it. So now we're gonna try it. We're gonna try the one we're gonna make in a few minutes with our kale. He says it's spicy. Right we're not big spicy fans. No. Or, but you got milk, I know for a fact. So take easy on it, so I'll have to down some <laughs> milk after to, this. If you have to. And cinnamon. You like spicy, that's great. Cause that's, that's a good way to make kale different. Yes. Yeah, and it's also like an accent right. that you can Ooh. just have and you can pull out with a meal. Yeah. It's a yeah. real unique flavor. It's not, I, we call it kale kraut, it's nothing like sauerkraut. Whoa. I love that. Crazy, huh? It's that chili powder, too. That's so good. That's fine, I don't need any milk, it's fine. There's three ingredients in that, so. Is that the one we're gonna make? Yeah, let's make that. Okay. We're gonna make a, 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 a video for you guys, for the YouTube channel. It'll go up in the next video on how to make this. We'll make this kale. Uh, we're gonna clear the cut-ups out. We're gonna, they're Go outside, us outside. We're gonna handle you. <laughs> Guys, you all set up to do this kale video? Yeah, we are. Okay, we're gonna do that. You'll get to see that in the next video tomorrow. So we just wrapped up the 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 kale bit. 
That's going in the, on this YouTube channel tomorrow. Are you guys wanting a polar bath? Or ice bath? I'm gonna go for it. You guys ready to jump in a crate? I'm gonna jump in the crate. Terrifying. Okay. Are you doing it? Yeah, she's gonna it, do it. It's, it's right now, the temperature's right. Well, it's really hot outside, so. so Art's hot. not too excited. Like I regret it sure. already, basically. Okay. <laughs> we got our bathing suits on. Anna, you got your bathing suit on? Ready to Art, go. where's your bathing suit? Uh, over here. I'm, okay. I'm gonna do it. We're, we're about to cold plunge. That's always more fun with other people, and it's definitely more fun with a camera. So, before we go on polar plunge, you guys have a course out on fermenting. So, but first, what, what, real quick, one of you answer, what are three reasons you would want to ferment in the first place? Um, health, flavor, and preservation. Keeping your garden harvest through the winter. Wow. But really, for me, it's health and flavor. And flavor is, if it, if it didn't taste good, I would not even do any of this. I'm not that person. I like that rapid fire answer. So then, if you guys have a course, yeah. and, and their goal is that, fermenting, uh, Anna, how, did, how does this course help folks get to that goal? Yeah, so it gives you a great reason to get started now. And you know, that's the one thing that you could do to ruin your ferments is to never try it, right? Ah, that's a very good point. <laughs> so that's one. Another is it's going to be a lot of fun. You get to hang out with us together that's true. <laughs> for hours worth of videos. Yeah. And then third, if you get into the middle or higher tier, you get a ton of support over mm. the next um, month to three months, depending on which which option you yeah. choose. And that means that you'll you'll be able to really get this and master it and really yeah. know that you know what you're doing. That's, I think, the thing that sets this course apart in many ways. If you get in at the mid pricing level, which I think is the best value, we, we will be there every week, uh, at least three days a week, answering every question. So it's like yeah. a level of support you can't really get anywhere. If you want to right. post your photos, we can re respond to yeah. that. Yeah, and until now, you could maybe make a comment on YouTube and you might, might be able to see it and answer, but now and and your your you know your YouTube channel is more reality, more fun, and this is just like straight to the point. Do it yourself, yeah. step step step. Access me if you need it. Yeah. Okay, good. I'm excited for you. This is Art's first first course. I'm excited for it because what I've found out when folks like this create a course and other people put skin in the game, they actually make change and are better off. That's true. So I'm proud to support you guys on this. I encourage everybody to go down on the link in the description. Check, check this course out, 100% guaranteed. If you don't like it, quick refund. Let's go jump in the creek. Yeah. What's the matter, Arthur? I just. Yeah, I'm just and you, got, and you know you got to go for five minutes too, right? Well, at least I, my goal is 10 seconds. That's gonna <laughs> break a record there. You got to start somewhere. You going for it? Just dive in, buddy. <laughs> that was 10 seconds. No. Yeah, but it gets easier. It gets easier. I know it is. Brianna, how long has it been? Months. Uh oh. You're out of practice. Hello, are you standing there? Mom, can I do a flip? 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 Lily will show you what's up. <laughs> Anna. <laughs> She's moving her fingers. Oh, the kids jump in. <laughs> His face. Kids, I'm like, I'm like limping, having a hard time on this. Hey, you know what? As I close out this vlog, I don't remember if I told you guys or not, but if you order their course through my link down below as an affiliate, I'm gonna give you a bonus video. The one we did on creating those carrots, the, the Rhodes carrots. Hannah used to make those for us when she was here. They are delicious. They're a good side for just about anything. Uh, so check that out. What we'll do is when they close cart Sunday, Art will get me those emails, those who ordered through me, and then I'll email you guys that bonus video. Sound good? All right, go check it out. Hope you have a great day.